Okay, well, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in for another casual talk. Today I have with me Jacob Alpharad. Hello. I think, first of all, thanks so much for joining. I was uh, very oh, of excited <laughs> that uh, you are into One Piece, actually. I I yeah, I was just happy to talk about it. Like, I don't really have a lot of platform to talk about it on my channel, so if anyone else brings me on, I'm ecstatic. Uh, yeah, that, that's great to hear. So in case you <laughs> don't know, um, Jacob has a huge channel where he does mostly, I think you started mostly with uh, gaming and esports and then kind of branched out into yeah. like, sharing music stuff. Uh, yeah, a little like psychology experiments, torture, a little bit, That's a little bit of everything, really. That's super cool. So um, obviously, if you mm -hmm. haven't heard about him or haven't checked him out yet, link will be in the description below. Make sure to check him out. But for now, what are your thoughts? Let's jump right in. What are your thoughts on the latest chapter? Um, you were like, I remember you were, we were talking about it, and it was like, we have, we have yeah. to talk about this chapter. I have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying. When uh, you asked me to do this, and I was like setting everything up, I was just like. Where do I start? Like, I, I just don't know that. I think that's the hardest part. Um, okay. I think Let the me, first thing yeah. that I want to bring up that not a lot of people have, it's just this big revelation of like the, the mythical Zoan. I think that's a huge thing. Absolutely. And it's like, of course, like all the viewers, readers now understand that. But I, I do wonder how long is it going to be in universe until Luffy figures it out? It's probably going to be a while, I feel like. Because he, he never might. Yeah, yeah. I think he will probably at some point. And yeah, I of think course. there is a chance. Um, I'm not sure what your thoughts on this is. Because I feel like, for example, Kaido seems to have a lot of you know, insight on who Joy Boy is and so on and so forth. Yeah. So I feel like he might be one person who might be like, mm -hmm. you're Joy Boy. Um, and like just acknowledge that. But then it might also be someone like Shanks, actually, when hopefully Luffy meets Shanks, like in the next arcs or something, where he's God, like I'm the one terrified. who explains it. <laughs> I think every chapter that passes, Shanks becomes a little more sinister, just in concept. Right. I, I, yeah. So is, is your take that you feel like Shanks might turn out to be a villain at the end, or...? Uh, no, like, I don't, I, I, he's just plotting. Like, I know he's plotting. I don't know Absolutely. where, but he's plotting. I, I, th I see it as, like, I don't want to say, like, Shanks is bad, because it's, like, at the same time, when you look at, like, the four, you, like, the emperors, why would I just see him, like, this one's good? Yeah. You know, like, I, I don't know. I have no idea what he, he just knows a lot, and it terrifies me. Yeah. I, I just don't know how much longer Wano is, but in the back of my head, I'd still love to see Shanks. Where do you stand on that one? Um, you mean Shanks in Wano or like just mm -hmm. moving on from Wano and going to like, like Stark? Like Shanks in end of Wano or just post Wano? Yeah, I think post Wano is probably more realistic. I see it. Yeah. Like Elbaf, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a good question. I think like I, we're definitely right now moving into the climax of the like the big battle there. Yeah. On, on Onigashima versus Kaido. So like that's going to be probably another like 10 to 20 chapters till that entire battle wraps up. <sighs> Yeah. I would say we still need a Kaido flashback, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting on. It's like as soon as we get that flashback, that's when I'm going to like accept that Wano is ending. Yeah. But then like the question I, for me personally, I'm curious, like what's mm -hmm. your take on that is like there. I feel like there's still potential to make that like that the arc will be longer anyways, even if the battle's over, because even if Kaido's mm -hmm. defeated, there's still the chance that the Navy comes, that Blackbeard comes. So there might be more fighting. Yeah. Um, we have the Zoros thing going on. There's still a lot of lore, like with the Poneglyphs and so on and so forth, why it's important to open the borders of Wano. So there's mm -hmm. still a lot of, like, stuff to explore that's kind of, like, been introduced early on. Yeah, there's there's just a lot because, I mean, you also have Rob Lucci on the island as well, exactly. which is terrifying. And then um, who knows where Blackbeard is, who knows where Shanks is. Uh, one thing that I, I do think is interesting is that they definitely, like, kind of teased Blackbeard at the start of Wano, and he has, like, yes. not made an appearance, yes. but it doesn't directly mean he's in Wano, because I, somebody showed me, like, uh, I think it's the, the cover for 1043, last chapter, and... And it's just like Germa 66 and Whole Cake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And are, are you, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, the cover spread, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and how they have the like the very distant invaders yeah, in the yeah, background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like the theory that Blackbeard could be like invading Whole Cake 
And it seems like why would he dodge the action? But he's kind of like an opportunistic tactician because when everyone was fighting in Marine Fort, he goes to Impel Down. You know, it just felt like the exact like same thing. Out. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, both things would be interesting because, like, obviously, I think it would be interesting if Kaido was coming for, <laughs> you know, if Blackbeard was kind of coming for Kaido's Devil Fruit as, like, the most yeah. powerful zone kind of, or, like, one mm -hmm. of the most powerful zone fruits. But then again, that would also be interesting, going to Whole Cake Island, you know, like taking over or getting the Poneglyph and so on and so forth. The Poneglyph is like the big one for me. I personally would think that there is at least someone in Wano who's going to take it, like kind of picking on the winners. I, I really like the yeah. idea that there's going to be someone who's going to be picking on like the Straw Hats, basically, even though they won mm -hmm. the raid. And so I think that would be a great moment also for Kaido, who, in my opinion, has been kind of built up to be like a failed good guy quote-unquote mm -hmm. you know like it's it seems like he was trying to be like the hero of the world become the one who changes the world and was kind of like yeah. for the like harry potter style for the greater good like I'm, we're gonna have to make sacrifices for this kaido always struck me as like the little league dad who peaked in high school and still has his letterman jacket <laughs> yeah that's actually a great yeah no, that's, that fits really well actually kind of yeah. like that <laughs> yeah um all the antagonists are always not happy you know like rob lucci terrified crocodile tired you know right. like everyone hates to see the little rubber man stand back up but i love that kaido just wants to fight you know yeah. luffy stands up and he apologizes and says thank you that was and such I, a cool moment i think that's so cool that was really cool like that apology was like almost <laughs> yeah like if, if there hadn't been like the entire devil fruit thing that would have been almost mm -hmm. my favorite part of the chapter i think i i do wonder like I think one it's one piece is one of those things I'm sure you're aware <laughs> of like there's so many things where I can't tell if I'm putting together things that don't matter <laughs> or they're intentional and it's just it's impossible to tell sometimes I do think honestly to a certain <laughs> degree it's intentional that you don't know what you have to put together yeah so I think I'll... yeah that's that's kind of a fun thing why even mm -hmm. like the type of videos I make, for example, for One Piece, or like a lot of other creators make, like these more like theori like theorizing analysis. Yeah, it's not it's not so easy to do that with other stories because Oda, other than other authors, like is very aware of like his community and how much people, yeah. and he actively participates it's, in that. Type he's just of such thing. a phenomenal like artist at world building because I think that's what it really is. That's what got me hooked on One Piece because I'm really good at binging media, consuming it, and dropping it when I'm done, like never thinking yes, about it again. Yes, yes, yes. And with One Piece, it's just like, I've thought about every chapter a million times over just because I can. Absolutely. And it's, and it's, it's, it's also not only is it like writing a great story and building the entire story overall, but also you have to balance the story as a big thing with like the weekly audience that wants to be entertained on a weekly basis, yeah. right? So that's great. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I think that's really cool. And like, did I see, is that a like real tattoo you have? Because I just noticed that. <laughs> yes, yeah, that yeah. Is, oh, please, Wait. please show that. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah, The ace tattoo. Is. Oh my God. Uh -huh. <laughs> you should yeah, have my was... job, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just... Uh... <laughs> I mean, I always like use the like the tag like Ace on like online forums and everything growing up, nice. and then you know like I have my own music project like Ace of Hearts. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So I always, even though like honestly Ace doesn't really like do a lot, but I I just liked him as a character just by absolutely. It. And like I mean, yeah. it's still like even though people, some people like to give him shit as a character. Still, he's had yeah. such an influential role and like such an influential role to play mm -hmm. and. Still was one of the most influential or like interesting and important characters in the story, you know, as Roger's son. Yeah. And I guess one could like my personal theory is that Shanks originally was looking for Ace because like Roger was. I like that theory like, too. Right. Yeah. And and then Luffy kind of was like, oh, let me let me smack that. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so yeah. I also, think the I think this chapter is so cool because there have been like thirty different chapters in Wano that rewrote chapter one. Yes. And it's this so is definitely one of them. Because it makes me, it, it, this chapter does make me think Shanks is maybe not sinister, but just plotting because scheming. It, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. He, it was never about Luffy. It was about the fruit. Yes. So, like, he protected Luffy for the fruit, yes. but it's just, it changes, like, the connection between them. Absolutely. I do, I, I would personally still suspect that Shanks still cares about Luffy as a person. Mm -hmm. But I do think that, like, oh, of I, course. I, so I'm, I don't think like Shanks is like whatever about Luffy. 
But I no. also do think that, as you correctly say, I think it's more about the fruit, and I think it's more about, mm-hmm. like, it doesn't matter if I care about you as a person. Like, this is about something mm-hmm. bigger kind of vibe, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I'm bringing it back yeah. to, to the chapter, though. What I'm Yeah, curious, we've been all over the place. That, that's fine, because understandable. Like, as you said, this is a mm-hmm. chapter that not only rewrites chapter one but also like the entire story as a whole basically oh, it sure does so do you think for example for kaido do you think fight fighting wise is it's like his fruit you feel already awakened or is that something will like does he still have another ace up his sleeve i, think? I was thinking that exact same thing earlier um it, it feels like it should be awakened because i i was like uh joy boy is like it kind of looked like luffy you know his voice disappeared like he died and then like the awakening with yeah. the with the mythical zoan had to have like it you know like death completes the cycle and everything exactly. and it felt like to act to like become joy boy he had to like die essentially yeah. and then it kind of makes sense why like kaido and like you know the beast pirates like it's all zoan users like i think he wanted joy boy he wanted to be joy boy or create joy boy with like yamato or something like that so it feels like the zoan was required It, it and it sounds like kaido had like an idea almost in the sense of you do need a zone to mm -hmm. awaken joy boy but it, it like clearly he wasn't aware that it was a specific one that he yeah. needed kind of or they were trying to like find like one specific fruit and like we're kind of like just trying out what would happen which is also again yeah. such a cool thing because at the beginning like i'm not sure how you saw saw that entire thing because you had the chance to read it a lot faster probably than most people mm-hmm. who were like doing it weekly <laughs> but when kaido was first introduced it was kind of like a classic oh this is like a big brood with like a big club he had like yeah. he likes animals and dinosaurs and like that's all there is to it and like now it's mm-hmm. actually so much more complex and like such a layered character and even the beast thing makes so much more sense now which is awesome yeah yeah just everything cuz the the one thing i've seen people talk about is the the obvious like potentially glaring like plot hole of like why didn't the world government send people after luffy right yeah and i'm very much so in the boat of like I will figure it out. <laughs> I don't think so as well. I'm pretty, yeah, yeah. I'm very not worried about that, honestly. Yeah, people have, one one new chapter happens, something changes, yeah. and yeah, I think it's fine. Mm-hmm. One thing that I thought was really interesting to think about, someone brought that up in my comment section recently, so shout out to that person, was what if Shanks actually stopped Kaido from going to the war, not because kaido wanted to like kill whitebeard or fight whitebeard but actually you know save him or team up with him yeah (laughs) yeah and he was like no 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 we can't have you like destroy all the admirals and like take down the marines Mm -hmm. right now because that would not be good (laughs) yeah i i I saw someone talk about like what if that same thing and it was kaido is so fixated on joy boy and everything and what if like he thought as well as like what shanks intended of like what if he thought ace could have been joy boy and wanted to witness it like that one is a yeah. is multiple stretches but it's still interesting i think i think i'm not even sure even because for example like again going back to the, the idea that shanks knows what the government's true power is and why like mm-hmm. even someone like rocks wasn't able to take them down and no one in the last 900 years is like they must have some sort of crazy power yeah that's just like so destructive and so i'm like maybe if kaido had teamed up with whitebeard and they'd taken out the marines maybe like Emu and the Gorosei, mm-hmm. they would have to made have like they would have had to made use of like some crazy power that would have been basically like yeah. It just it feels like every way you look at it, Shanks is playing both sides. Yes, absolutely, and absolutely. That's I, I think that's really what it is all about. It's like he he's playing both sides, and I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, and which is it's just so fantastic because mm-hmm. it gives you exactly that Game of Thrones the intrigue. Yeah. Yeah, which which I personally so like that political maneuvering is just great. It's like mm-hmm. little finger vibes and in the in the best way possible, not in the latest. I, I seasons, feel like I guess, but. there are several <laughs> more spoilers that could happen. Like, and there are several spoilers that have happened. But I feel like whenever Shanks's intention is revealed, like that's one of those spoilers where if you know at the start, it could change your perception on all of One Piece. Absolutely, yeah. and I do think I personally am still very much convinced that One Piece is going to be one of these stories where when we actually get an explanation for how the entire world came to be, Mm -hmm. 
and how everything's like where devil fruits come from and like the lore of the story yeah. i think it's going to be like what the fuck nothing is the same kind of moment yeah yeah hopefully yeah because i thought of think about like when who's who dropped the C, you know the cp0 had the fruit and then shank stole it and I don't know, man. <laughs> I actually have another question I want to ask you mm -hmm. because I'm actually working on a video on that right now that I'm going to publish either this week or next week, yeah. depending on the next chapter. Um, but one really interesting thought that I think a couple of people had, including me, and that I kind of want to explore deeper is I think it's very possible that Blackbeard might not be a Logia fruit as well, but, you yes. know, a mythical zone. I am 100% on that too. <laughs> It's, so I'm not going to go into my thoughts, but uh -huh. I do want to know what you think on that. <laughs> I, I, I think, you know, like One Piece story of Checker Fates and all that. And yes. um, I like that theory so much. I mean, it's just, it's so interesting because when you think of like antagonists in One Piece, you think Blackbeard, but he's really like not done anything to Luffy directly. Like they're just two pirates on the sea. Like he turned an ace, but like that's like it. Yeah, and they kind of, like, fought mm -hmm. a little bit at, like, Impel Down, but that's yeah. it, kind they've of, they've yeah. met once after knowing who each other were. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's yeah, it. yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, and I, I feel like if Luffy does have the mythical Zoan of, like, the sun god and everything, and Blackbeard has been so heavily associated with, like, moon motifs and everything, it's like... I don't, and also the fruits look near identical, which is probably not yes. a coincidence either. Not a coincidence, yeah. definitely not. <laughs> Sun like, and moon, darkness and light. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's Blackbeard. I don't, you know, I don't know what Moon God is or anything like that, but it's definitely something that's the antithesis of of Luffy's Nico. Nico. And I was just make, asking on on the topic of of that right there. Have you did you see the like the Ace and Blackbeard fight? Have you revisited that? I have. Okay, because I was like, I wanted to read that panel if you haven't, because that. Please, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like you can, you can still read it because oh. it's it's fantastic. Yeah, I just had had it like saved recently, and it was just when Ace was just like, if your powers are a Logia type, an attack like that shouldn't hurt yes. you, and it's just like yes. feels a little Ooh. different now. And then it's yeah. Oh, I have yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna be quiet yeah. because I have a lot of thoughts on this, and I do want to turn it into I, a video. Okay, I do want to watch that video though, <laughs> and if I can like say it. one thing. About oh, of this course. Current chapter. Um, what? What is Odin's daughter's name? Hiori. Hiori, yeah. Um, what an incredible arc for her that gets completely overshadowed yes. <laughs> by everything that happens with Luffy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful arc that would have been the talking point if not for Gear Fifth. I. That is actually the only point of criticism I have. Yeah. criticism right quote unquote it's mm -hmm. like it's such it's a busy. great moment and it was put into this chapter where like it should have been clear that no one like it, it would sink and like mm -hmm. you know drop below the attention of everyone under like what's going on around it because i i 100 agree with you she had like one of like a fantastic character arc in the entire story yeah happy you bring the, that up just taking the mask off and seeing her yes. crying was such an incredible honestly just a well-drawn panel first off and also, once again, like, very meta in a way because, you know, mm -hmm. like, literally, like, dropping your mask and, like, showing your true feelings kind of in a, yeah. you know, very visual way is, like, mm -hmm. oh, I, I love those kind of seeds. Absolutely. Yeah. Man, it, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Like, let's definitely do it again soon, hopefully. Oh I'm my sure God. there will I'm be down. plenty of <laughs> chapters to talk about. Um, if you if you want to check out uh, Jacob's channel, please, please do. He has, you, you, you basically, you mostly do Nintendo stuff, but also, like, if any, like, interesting game is out i feel like you're mostly on it right yeah yeah now i'm like kind of like soft pivoting like i like doing a lot of like real life stuff with people so and cool. it's just it's just hard because that just requires more work but it's a lot of fun so i'm kind of like is. soft pivoting back in between the two of them that's great and well yeah and i i might have a couple one piece videos planned but who knows so even more reason to go over to his channel and, uh, you know, watch his stuff. So please do, of course, linked in the description below. Um, and yeah, like you're, I'm a big fan of your music, actually, bro. So oh, thank you. It was a pleasure talking to you. Hopefully, mm -hmm. yeah, you'll be back on the channel soon. Can't wait to talk again. Yeah, it'd be a pleasure. Thanks, man.